Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one only, and welcome to Godiax. This game is made by Live2D, and I'm going to be trying it out. It is another language game, but I feel like there could be some English. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I have no idea which one this is. Is it that one? How is this? So are they telling me to log in through Twitter or Facebook? I think I went through Guest. Hopefully it's through Guest. <laughs> Um, what the hell? This is an interesting uh, <laughs> little art here. I mean, the enemies look pretty interesting from what I see. Okay, now they look a little bit weird. Oh, okay, then. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, get wrecked. Oh, I can't skip it. Eh, I want to go through it. Even though I don't know what they're saying, but the art looks interesting. I to say the art isn't half bad, but well, as soon as they got to the little combat show, they looked weird. They're just like little chibis compared to the actual art like this. But that's like most games, to be honest. So I can't really nitpick, nitpick at that. This guy looks like a badass. Okay then. If anybody knows the premise of this little story from this little cutscene, uh, can somebody give me like a summary down in the chat, please? Because I will definitely read that comment for sure. Just a small summary would be fine. I have to write out like every single subtitle. Because <laughs> I know there's people out there that will do that. Oh. Are we summoning Satan? <laughs> Else, would you need to start for though? Oh, my name. That I can give you. There you go. Be weird if that was taken inside of a Japanese game, but all right. <laughs> what uh, that was interesting. But yeah, somebody can just like give me a small summary. That would be just fine. This looks like one of those like game loading pages. I played a few games that like have like similar loading screens. 
I just want to see a little bit of the art. Because I know we've been skipping through a lot of Japanese games and never really showed... We haven't really seen a lot of the art for, like, the story. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like. Alright. There's a little bit of things. Oh, God. So this is a slime. Is there any other creatures? Yes, there is, actually. Oh, wait. That's all you're showing me? Just those two? Okay, so now we're going to have to <laughs> learn how to play this without knowing the language. So it looks like they're talking about MP and HP. And it seems like they got a loading time to when they can attack. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, so, okay, so I think if you hover over him, you can see, um, I think if you hover over him, or click on him, and have this menu up, whenever their skills get done, you can use them. Kind of weird to explain, <laughs> let's just say that. Very weird. You got some XP for that, though. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. It's... It's very... Very weird. Alright, let's see. Or maybe that was auto battle. So I wait for this to go up. Okay. So I guess it auto skills if anything, if I have that on. And once this fools out, if I'm not hovered over it by the time, it's gonna auto attack. And I was supposed to click. Okay. I get it. I get it. So yeah, it was how I was saying. As long as you're over. As long as you, like, have clicked over this character, it does seem like you have a time limit to when you can push things out. Then you'll push and click one. Other than that, you can just auto-skill and have them use pretty much any random skill that they have. Pretty straightforward. We figured that out. Yeah, another game with English in it. I guess they try to translate the best they can for you. So it does have like um, the cost and for like each character. So if you guys don't know or if you haven't played um, Brave Frontier, your party is like kind of limited to a level. Each character has like their own different cost and you can't go over this cost. So let's say if I was to put in like a... Let's see if I wanted to put in a cost 19 character into this I couldn't because that well actually I could let's say if I wanted to put in the cost 30 <laughs> I couldn't put it in here because it would go over the limit of how much I can carry in my party let's go let's just go ahead and extend that you know <laughs> so yeah you can't add in just like a whole bunch of high rank characters at the start of your game because you would have to level up just to increase that cost Okay, it seems like different formations like increase different stats for what I see. Oh, okay. So these are how you like formation your characters up. So you can only have these guys up in the front. You can only have these guys up here. Or you can only have these guys right here. Or these guys benefit from these spots more than the others. That's at least what I'm getting out of here. So do we have 
different teams? Oh, nope. I was, I was right the first time. They can only go into those slots. You can't put them inside of any other slots. So each character is limited to their own unique spots. Noted. Oh, there goes another weird creature. My god, more slimes. Alright, so she's in the first party. These guys are in the second party. Let's go ahead and use this. Let's go ahead and hover over you. Use this. Yeah, actually pretty straightforward. See, not half bad for not just knowing the language. It seems like we can fast forward too. Alright, so that was the last wave. Victorious! Alright, next. Seems like there's raids too. Because I just saw like a raid icon at the top. So pretty much they're just taking us through like the basics of the game at the moment. Jeez, I just clicked on you once and you already used that skill. Okay, so this would heal the team, right? Okay, now it would just heal one person. And that's her AoE. Okay. So are there stars to these characters? Like four star and three star? Or are they just their own character? I can pick them up. <laughs> they even make the pickup animation. I like that. <laughs> I don't know why that's so, that's so fun to me. She actually looks like she's flying now. Alright, next. Oh god, aren't you creepy? Oh, and that, well, that seems like most butterflies. If the whole, you know, rumors of butterflies destroying or creating mass, like, mass destruction each time you step on one, then yeah, that, that seems about right. But what ice balls? So I can just go up here and heal her. Okay. Yeah. I have to double check. Doesn't seem like I can heal anybody up here. So I'm guessing this is an AI controlled party at the top. When with me controlling the bottom. So I can't really do anything with that team, unfortunately. So I have a party controlled by you and AI. Which is actually pretty nice. Oh, who's this guy? Uh, he seems like a real badass. Is this the boss? Okay, so we got LB, which I'm guessing is Limit Break. So when that's full, you just go ahead and click those. Okay. Does everybody do that? Okay, her skill should change once it gets to max. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, then. Um, that's one way to murder an enemy. Um, all right. <laughs> I don't think it goes through like any animations or anything like that through the story. 
I mean, the only unique thing we saw was him and the courage, and he sticks out his hand. I think the rest of this is just portraits and dialogue. Which kind of reminds you of, like, the old day games of how they used to do that. And now we're going to go through downloading. So I shall be right back. Oh, they even have dialogue for each of the characters. Too bad we don't get like full on English voice acted games anymore. I mean, mostly because we complain about their voice actors, which I gotta admit, we do get like some really shitty voice actors, just saying. So, yeah, not our fault. <laughs> But, oh, well, I'm guessing it's done now since I pretty much just talked through it. But yeah, we get pretty crappy voice actors. Most of the time, we get a few games that are pretty decent towards voice acting. Not a whole bunch, though. So is this basically picking our faction? That's a hard choice. That is a, definitely a hard choice. I... Oh, you're making us uh, pick blind of which faction we join? Or which card we get? Uh, this one. Okay. Summon. Yes, we're going to summons. Let's see how their animations are. Oh, we get a tin summon right off the bat? Hopefully it's not, um... Is not already set in stone for us because you know some games do the whole set summons instead of like random summons. Hopefully it's random for us. Let's see what we get. We don't really know if these are like... Oh, it says in. So I'm guessing this is a normal rank character. A rare character. Okay. Yeah, that's how they're doing things. Another rare. Another rare. Oh, she just leveled up from her. So her skills... Okay, so we don't get duplicates. They just go into their skills. And we get... Fragments here. Okay, pretty straightforward. Wait, what? I think you get fragments. Where do her random hearts come from? Hold on. Did I miss something here? No, I'm pretty sure we didn't get any duplicates. But alright. Another R and a normal. And that's our last one. And then they go through dialogue with all the characters. Alright, not half bad. We didn't get anything like extremely off the charts, but hey, as long as it I'm pretty sure it wasn't the set summon, thank god it wasn't. And yeah, re-rolling re accounts would be really annoying for that. <laughs> Just because you have to go through dialogue, and that's a lot of dialogue that we went through. That's like nearly 18 minutes of dialogue that we just went through. All you can increase... Okay. So... You can increase it for a few days. Oh, okay. I was wondering, I was just like, what do you, what do you mean? We could just buy our costs. Doesn't that seem a little bit broken? But no, it only stays for like an X amount of days. So that's that's one way to get your parties going. I don't think I want to do that. No. Game, no. Oh, it's free. Never mind. <laughs> so mine's is into the 16th. Right now it is the 9th. And that goes away around that time. So we can go ahead and just randomly generate everyone in here. Now we have new characters. New characters. All right, let's go ahead. So far, playing these games are pretty straightforward to me since I've played so many different games. I get the premise down pretty easily, thank God. So we can tell, so I can tell pretty easy what does what. She looks actually pretty cool. I wonder, what is... What does any of this do? Is that just a hill? Okay, that's just a hill. Uh, what is this one? Oh, I was going to see what that was. 
I'm at least trying to get down like all my skills and what they do. I have no idea what this coin is. I think they're going to show us what the coin is. Okay, these are login rewards. I'm guessing this is like probably a summon or something. It's our day six. Go ahead and get some bread, which is our stamina in this game. All right, so we get a thousand for that. Oh, oh wow, we get a few summons for this. Jeez. I'm guessing that's maxed. Okay, so you can't go too far over your mouth. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so where's our summon again? Since we have a lot of summonings we can go through, we got 20 summons we can do. We already did the last 10, so that's basically 30. Ooh, sparkles. All right, let's see what we get. Got another normal. I'm pretty sure you could probably find like a Wikipedia explaining all the character skills, maybe. Not full on sure. And actually, now that I think about it, we probably already had the characters that we were using that leveled up their skills. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, wait, we don't have these characters, but no, they were probably already given to us. That's why they were increasing their levels. But the more duplicates, the higher the level is. So yeah, you don't get duplicates in the game. And this one got a sword? What the hell? What about the sword? Are there any more different summons? Okay, it seems like SR is the highest from what I see. Okay, then. Let's do our last one. I don't know if there's a special indication that you got anything higher. But from what I see, there isn't. Oh, she looks pretty cool. Yeah, all the characters look pretty unique and awesome. I definitely like her look. I still have no idea what that sword is. Okay, so we went through a few summons. Uh, let's go to... I oh, see, it's like we have a book here. So we can look at the, how the character looks as chibis. Oh, she definitely looks cool. Can I see like a... I was about to say, can I see like an actual art style? Okay. Definitely say the chibi isn't half bad. Way better than a lot of other games though. Definitely say that one. Oh, we have that in there. Alright, so let's check a few other stuff. We got a room that isn't available to us right now. Uh, we got a... Okay, these are quests. That's what they are. Got XP here. A lot of XP. We just collect all. <laughs> there we go. That's a lot faster. Can we collect all our bread? No, we can't just put it in our inventory or anything. Well, that sucks. Okay, so this is just the news. And all that's in there is just a few things. Apparently we can summon again. Ah! Summon is for, like, weapons and stuff. And it seems our max uh, stamina is a thousand five hundred do we got a four star book I have no idea where you put those So this is our history of everything we've collected. 
I'm guessing this is the representatives? Okay, yeah. This is who you want repping you. I'm not really sure yet. So... Eh, I'm gonna go with her since she looks close. Okay, that's the name change. Let's go back to units. This is your status. These are your skills. Too bad you can't read your skills, but... <laughs> oh, you can switch out skills. Is that is that what I'm getting at? I mean, that's what it looks like. Alright, we have nothing for that. Or we can probably enchant skills. Maybe that's it? I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, right, this is where you put in equipment. So we did get equipment from like bees, but I'm pretty sure these don't go to you. Um, does it go to you? Nah. What's enhancement? Oh, is this just like leveling up the character? Colorless. So, so rank. Oh, wait. Hold on. Is this basically like the whole equipment thing you do? Because, you know, it's pretty much like those shark collector games that um, make you increase your job and stuff like that like if you guys have played the alchemist code it's pretty much like that but with but with the alchemist code is equipment okay so you unlock okay so no more like level of affection here i guess in this affection you can decrease their cost and unlock skills or their love Alright, so now she's at level 2. And we unlock this skill. So the more duplicates you get... Yeah, so the more duplicates you get... The um, higher you can make them for hearts. And we don't have this thing. So we would have to go in there and farm it. Could put in another person. Alright, so this is another new team. Oh damn, she has a huge ass lance. I want to see more of her skills. So I'm guessing this protects the whole team. Alright, so this is daughter skill. Pretty easy. So it really doesn't give me like any like different areas I can go to and finish that. So I'm guessing they would want us to keep going through all this. It seems like we have a lot to go through. But there is like a room where you can like pretty much see all your characters, see them walk around and stuff like that, I guess. Just like watching them, observing them. 
Uh, Mage War. Not really sure what that is. Probably PvP. Could be PvP. PvP. Uh, you guys would have to try that out yourselves and witness that because we're all out of time. So, yeah, you guys can try out the game. See if you guys can find anything more about it. And plus, yeah, like I said, there's raids up here that you guys can go into. I'm guessing those are like randomly spawned bosses throughout your like quests. You guys know it how it is. Pretty much get a quest, go through it, and well, pretty much just farm like stages, then you get a random spawn of bosses that you have to fight with other people or yourself if you can do it. But what can I say about this game? This game is actually pretty interesting. Uh, the combat straight pretty straightforward uh what i'm not a huge fan of is once i missed their their turn it's, uh, it's kind of really annoying especially if i click on them and it's just like up oh, too late now you gotta wait for the timer to go all the way around again that could probably get you killed pretty easily but i would recommend probably doing it with skill off if you're having like a whole bunch of issues with that because they could probably just use skills themselves if that's what they've been doing you know um, if anything, I wish you can, like, put a Q on our skills, you know, sort of like how Seven Knight just does, where you can queue up the skill, go to somebody else, queue up their skills, and, but I'm not sure how that would full-on work in this game, especially since their timers are, seem pretty different, especially with the way they cool down and cycle through, it's, let's just say it's a weird premise, but, it's actually pretty easy to understand. And just with enough like practice of the system, you can get the basics down pretty easily. So I would recommend trying it out at least. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose